Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about what is a full stack developer, and specifically what is the mean or mern stack. Uh, I could do two videos on this, but I think it's probably best just to do one. So, when, if you're new to um, developing, web development specifically, and you're not too sure what a full stack developer is, what it basically means is that you are a developer that can work on the front end. That would be HTML, CSS, JavaScript, um, and various JavaScript frameworks like maybe jQuery, uh, AngularJS, um, React. That's part of it. Then you have the back end, which would be uh, an example of that could be Node. It could be uh, no Node and Express would be the mean example. Um, and that also includes your database. So you have kind of the, the front end connects to the back end, which connects to the database. And if you have all these skills, um, and your database can be MySQL or MongoDB is typically what it is in uh, the mean stack. When you, when you have the front end, which connects to the back end and communicates back and forth, and then it connects to the database as well, you have, you're a full stack developer. It's basically you can build the front part, the good looking part. You have sort of the back end, which is typically your Git calls, your APIs, your, uh, you know, this would be the node and express in the mean example. And then that sometimes connects to the database or does connect to the database. And those sort of three uh, subsections, if you will, really makes up a full stack developer. Now, what is the mean stack or the MERN stack? Uh, that refers to a certain stack of technologies that a full stack developer would use. So the mean stack would be MongoDB, MongoDB, Express, Angular, and uh, Node. So MongoDB would be the database. Express and Node would be the back end. They kind of go hand in hand. And then Express is a framework for Node, by the way, if you're not, not familiar with it. It's just a, a package that you use to work with Node. And then you have Angular for the front end. And now the Mern stack is the exact same thing, except uh, in that example, uh, instead of Angular, it's React. And, you know, these, these are things that common terms you'll see quite often and if you're you're really new I remember starting out uh, you know a year and a half two years ago and still being a little confused about it but that's all it is is a full stack developer someone that can work with the database can make a front end of the application uh, the website if you will uh, the, fr the view and uh, can make uh, the back end so you, in the mean example, is MongoDB, which is your NoSQL. And that MongoDB may even be switched out for MySQL or something like that. Um, you know, it's just kind of interchangeable. But at the end of the day, the mean stack is MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node. Kind of your database, your front end, your back end. And uh, the Mern stack, you just swap out React for it as well. But I hope that cleared up a few things. It's, it's really that simple. And if you still want to know more about the mean stack and just kind of see some examples you can go to mean.io and you'll see a quick little breakdown it literally says mean stands for uh and you can check it out but that's basically all it is and i don't want you guys to be confused but you should strive to be a full stack developer 65 percent of the jobs are for full stack developers 25 percent are for back end and 10 percent for the front end so if you're trying to uh get to that developer level that's where you need to strive for the mean stack is a great stack to learn mean or mern just kind of find which one you prefer react or angular um react seems to be picking up pace quite a bit uh and go with it you want to stick with a stack of technologies now there's also the lamp stack which is a open source stack like most of these and what's interesting about that is it kind of uses a little bit of older technologies the lamp stands for uh, linux Apache would Apache would be your server in this instance, MySQL, and then uh, that P kind of transitions similar to the mean and Mern between PHP, Python, or even Perl. Um, I work with the LAMP stack a little bit at work with the PHP and the MySQL and the Apache, and um, I don't touch Linux too much, but that's a, a little bit of an older stack. Typically at the boot camps now, they're teaching the mean slash Mern kind of combo stack. There's also the, the Ruby on Rails stack, but uh, I'm not too familiar with what the stack is for Ruby, so I don't want to dive into that too much. Um, but that used to be pretty popular, um, I'd say about four or five years ago, as kind of the, the curriculum of choice at a lot of boot camps. And um, it's been replaced for the most part, 
with the mean and Mern stack and kind of a for the better I think one of the benefits of learning the mean or Mern stack versus uh, something like the lamp stack in my opinion is you typically uh, one of the one of the great things is um, everything's in JavaScript right so express works with JavaScript uh, node works with JavaScript angular or react works with JavaScript then you have the database right uh, you can't do anything about that but but if you're using MongoDB and Mongoose, it's in JavaScript also, right? And so you can work, it, it's more like in JavaScript. So you have everything in JavaScript. While well, you're working with the LAMP stack, you have a front end of the application, has JavaScript, has maybe a framework that goes with it. Then you have to do the PHP also. And it, it's much harder to <coughs> become proficient at all these things. But my cat's kicking at the door. He's ready to get out of here. That's my, my two cents on the mean and merge stack. As always, guys, uh, don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. The link is in the description. And uh, if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you have any questions, anything I can elaborate on, uh, as always, uh, for the Ask a Dev sections, I, I try to answer your guys' questions. Leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. See you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.